Solving Systems by Elimination In this video, you'll learn how to solve systems of equations by adding or subtracting them to eliminate a variable. You'll also learn how to create a new equation by adding or subtracting equations and using that equation to find the solutions of the original system. Let's look at what we already know about systems of equations. So far, we have learned how to solve a system of equations using the graphing method and the substitution method. Graphing is the best method when the equations are in slope-intercept form and they intersect at coordinates with whole numbers. Substitution is the best method when one of the variables are already isolated or can be easily isolated. And delimination is the best method when the equations don't have a variable isolated. So let's look at the elimination method. Just like substitution, the goal of the elimination method is to isolate one variable so that we can solve for the other. This is done by adding the equations in the system together. This will produce a new equation with a solution that matches our original system. Let's try the elimination method on this example with this system of equations, where x plus y equals 10 and x minus y equals 6. Our first step is to identify the variable that we want to eliminate. This variable should have the same coefficients, but with opposite signs. The coefficients of x are both positive 1 and the coefficients of y are positive 1 and negative 1, so we'll eliminate the y variable since they have the same coefficient but are opposites. Now that we know which variable to eliminate, we can add these equations together. So we'll bring our system down and add all the like terms separately. So we'll get 2x, adding y and negative y will give us 0, which is what we wanted to happen so that we can eliminate that y variable and adding 10 and 6 will give us 16 as a constant. Our third step is to now solve this new equation. We'll simplify by adding 2x and 0, which just gives us 2x is equal to 16. We can isolate x by dividing both sides by 2. This gives us x equals 8, so now we have one of our solutions. We can find the other solution by substituting this value in to either one of our original equations from the system. We can choose either equation, but for this example, we'll just do the top one. So we'll substitute 8 in for x. This gives us 8 plus y is equal to 10. We'll solve for y by subtracting 8 on each side. This gives us y is equal to 2, so now we have our solution for this system at 8, 2. Let's look at another example. This system has 2x plus y equals 5 and negative 2x plus 2y equals 4. We always start by identifying the variable that we want to eliminate, so the variable should have the same coefficient with opposite signs. We can see that our coefficients of x are positive 2 and negative 2, so this is the variable that we'll eliminate first. Now we can add the equations together. Adding 2x and negative 2x will give us 0x, which is what we wanted to happen since we're eliminating the x variable. Then we have 3y, and 5 plus 4 gives us 9. Now we can solve this new equation. Simplifying will give us 3y is equal to 9, and then we'll divide both sides by 3 to get y by itself. This gives us y equals 3, so now that we have one solution, we can find the other by substituting this value in to either one of our original equations in the system. It doesn't matter which equation we choose, but we'll just do the top one again. So we'll replace y with 3. This gives us 2x plus 3 equals 5. To solve for x, we'll start by subtracting 3 on each side. This gives us 2x is equal to 2. Now we'll divide both sides by the coefficient of x, giving us x equals 1. So now we know that the solution to this system is 1, 3. Now let's look at an example where we don't have matching coefficients. We can see that our x coefficients are 1 and negative 2, so these don't match and our coefficients of y are 1 and 3, so these also don't match. If the coefficient of x was 2 in the first equation, then we would have exact opposites that we need. But we can't just put a 2 in there without multiplying everything by 2. So we'll do that. We'll take our equation, and we'll multiply 2 by both sides. So multiplying the entire equation by 2 gives us 2x plus 2y equals 8. Now we'll bring down our second equation so we can add them together. 2x plus negative 2x gives us 0x, and 2y plus 3y gives us 5y. 
and 8 plus negative 3 gives us positive 5. So now we can simplify and solve this equation. We'll isolate y by dividing 5 on both sides. And this gives us y equals 1. Now we'll take the first equation in our system to find our other variable. So we'll replace y with 1. So we have x plus 1 equals 4. And subtracting 1 on each side, gives us an answer of x equals 3. So the solution to this system is 3, 1. We have the systems 5x plus 2y equals 20 and 3x minus 2y equals 4. The other system has 4x plus 5y equals 2 and negative 2x minus 3y equals 3. So we'll start with the first equation. We see that the coefficients of y are positive 2 and negative 2. So this is the variable that we'll eliminate. So we'll add these equations together and we get 8x plus 0y equals 24. We'll simplify this so that we can solve. We'll divide both sides by positive 8, giving us x equals 3. Now that we have one of our solutions, we can plug this value into one of our original equations to find the other solution. We can choose either equation, but for this example, we'll just do the first one. So we'll replace x with 3, giving us 5 times 3 plus 2y is equal to 20. Multiplying 5 and 3 will give us 15 plus 2y is equal to 20. And now we can solve. We'll start by subtracting 15 on each side. This gives us 2y is equal to 5. And now we'll divide both sides by 2, giving us y is equal to 2.5. Now we have our solution at x equals 3 and y equals 2.5. So now let's look at our second equation. When we look at these equations, we see that our coefficients don't match. So this means we'll have to make them match. So on the bottom equation, we have negative 2x. We can make this into negative 4x by multiplying it by 2. Then we can eliminate the 4x and negative 4x. So we'll take that second equation and we'll bring it down so that we can multiply everything by 2. Multiplying each term by 2 gives us negative 4x minus 6y equals 6. Now we'll bring down our other equation so that we can add them together. We know that the negative 4x and positive 4x will cancel. So we're left with negative 1y equals 8. Now we'll solve for y by dividing both sides by negative 1. This gives us y is equal to negative 8. Now that we know one of our solutions, we can plug this into one of our equations to find the other variable. So we'll substitute negative 8 for y. This gives us 4x plus 5 times negative 8 is equal to 2. Simplifying will give us 4x plus negative 40 equals 2. So now we'll solve for x. We'll start by adding 40 to both sides. This gives us 4x is equal to 42. Now we'll divide both sides by 4. So we get a final answer of x equals 10.5. Now we have the entire solution for this system. To recap what we've learned, we can solve a system using the graphing method, but it's not always easy to see the intersection. We should use the substitution method when one of the variables are already isolated or can be easily isolated. And we should use the elimination method when neither variable is isolated.